Hi Capricorn, it's Leslie with your May forecast. Um, first thing I want to thank everybody for your wonderful comments. The last the last two months have been very nice comments. I can't I can't thank you enough. And for calling your friends and telling them about my uh, my um, site on, on YouTube and also for um, asking them to subscribe because we need subscriptions that really would help a lot. So thank you so much. Well, finish. Here we go with yours. Finishing arranging financial matters before the end of the month. That's what you're planning on doing. That's what you want to do. That's good. More compromises are necessary, but you are in, on the right track. A, a lot of instant replay of circumstances and new visits with money and going through things and um, making sure your taxes are paid. All this is important to you. Uh, and I don't think all of that's done yet. I know it is, but I can feel it isn't done. A lot of um, offering affection and a token of your esteem to someone is really important to you. It's really important. Um, at times, the business th thoughts um, outweigh what you want to do. You know, your interactions become more. After the seventh, your interactions become more, more congenial, more creative. Um, but remember, this is to someone you care about. And you don't let your business stand in the way because we don't always have that. You know, we have someone we care about always. A lot of us, you know, we're married and we're with someone for quite a while. But you need, you need to know you have somebody special. You know, and then this is a month maybe to renew some things for you if you have a long-term relationship. Um, leave your thoughts with your business. Try and always look your best, no matter how serious your business is. And try and look your best. That makes a difference. I mean, uh, just think if you are going to buy real estate, for instance, from someone, and they're sloppy. They're very sloppy and not not kept not kept very well. Do you want to do that? No, you don't. So, um, you know, if you have someone wearing old raggy jeans, stringy hair, um, no, not good, not good at all. So. People will, I know that's not the way you are, but that people just won't, won't do that. They'll say thank you and they'll go to another, another agent. So, um, um, this is why you should put extra effort into your appearance. It was just dark pants, dark skirt, and a white blouse, even that. That's just fine as long as you're clean and look very clean and fresh. Um, spending money and time on your image is an important statement, especially in your business. And. And believe, believe or not believe, things will get better when you feel you're all put together. And that's really true because it gives you a feeling, a feeling of not all put together. It's very, very true. Uh, think about that. Just think about this. Does that give you a feeling that you want to go to work, you want to present yourself the best? Or if you stay in, in you know, uh, at home clothing or, you know, cleaning the basement clothing or just hanging out clothing? Uh, you don't have that feeling, that you don't have that motivation in your feeling, I guess. Um, the new moon on the 8th is happily with you, and you will actually make heads turn. No, oh, you're going to get yourself all put together by the 8th. Well, that sounds really good. Really good. I'd like to see that. I wish I could you'd send me some pictures. Uh, your best days this month is the 10th, 11th, and 26th. And let's see what the cards have in store for you. go. There you go, meeting with a group of friends, balancing things out for you. Um, okay, very good. This is very nice. You, you either meet with a bunch of friends and have a good time, or just meet with, a, meet with friends um, and celebrate. Celebrate work. Over the COVID, more or less, we're going to get back together, see our friends. Here you are balancing things out, very much so. And when you get through balancing things out, I see very good things for you. Some of those things have just come together by themselves. Here you are, wonderful. In the near future, you have the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune says, this is always, always going ahead, but it, the Wheel of Fortune is going ahead for you. It's going to bring some kind of um, a, a monetary a monetary reward for you, but your whole life is going to get better, get better and better. 
going to meet with some friends again, a special friend. Uh, this could be some an old friend from school. This could be uh, just a new friend, but very enjoying, very good, very enjoying. It also could be for you this month's business. Here you are trying to fi figure out exactly how to handle everything because you do have a lot of things going on here, a lot of things. Uh, you will, you will. This this is a this is a card that says it's the only um, hand of God on any of the of the aces. The aces is the only card with this that has this. And it's the Lord saying to you, be still and know. I have the answer for you. And here you are. Um, just um, trying to make things right with someone. It just isn't going to work. It, right now, there at least it will work eventually, but not right now. It's not going to work for you because they don't, they don't want to give you any cooperation. And here you are. All this works for you. You're going to be rushing in to get something done and be very happy about it. You're so happy, I can tell you. And Sue's going to pick your angel card. And it is, Seek and you shall find. Wow. Very true. Have a great month. Bye-bye.